30 years ago, machining, manufacturing, and engineering was thought of as taking place in a drab, dark, dirty work environment. Today, it's quite the opposite. Machinists and technical engineers today work in environments where machines are controlled by computers and parts are held to very tight specifications. So not only are basic programming skills required, but today's worker is expected to be able to use analytical thinking and possess high-level math skills. Various programs here at the school have different levels of degree or certificate that a student can earn. The smallest level it would be called a certificate. It usually contains anywhere from four to six classes and it's good for training incumbent workers in a specific area. Then we have diplomas that are usually based on roughly 40 credits made for more uh, of a hands-on type education, possibly as a machine operator, machinist. And then we have the highest level we offer, which is an Associate of Applied Science, which is a two-year associate degree. You'll get into your general education classes, your math, sciences, and English classes, along with roughly 15 core classes in the discipline you're studying. Uh, initially, I never thought about um, the manual side of the manufacturing process because technology indicates it's going to be more computer based but to fully have an understanding from product design to product finish you need to know the steps that go along with that so not only have we done the technology side and the computer aided side but we've learned the manual process of how it was done say 10, 15, 20 years ago. Whenever I wanted to make something or have something that I didn't feel like I could purchase I actually would make a plan, blueprint if you will and design and actually make whatever it was that I wanted out of existing material. This program works very much like that. It has given me the tools and the resources needed to actually make that. When I complete my certificate for this program, um, I'm looking to get a job dealing in machinery, anything, uh, fabrication. After graduation, I plan to pursue a business degree to go along with my two-year associate's degree here at Forsyth Tech because of all of the advances that mechanical engineering is taking and the industry is coming to North Carolina with uh, Caterpillar recently here, Deer Hitachi here, um, Ingersoll Rand's in Moxville, Doosan is in Statesville, so the industry is growing in North Carolina. Most of our graduates will enter the workforce in positions of quality control, maintenance technicians, and engineering designers. Uh, it's very important that a student understands the process from design to inception of a part and the process to get from design to a finished part. Employers are expecting that they are coming in with strong computer skills, strong analytical skills, and above all, strong communication skills. If a high school or middle schooler was looking into this program or field, I would say um, you need to have a strong ability in math as well as an interest in math because if you're not very interested in it or you're not very strong in it, you're not going to do very well because a lot of it is math-based concepts. As well, you need to be uh, very skilled with computers because a lot of the technology is advancing very rapidly, so you need to be able to adapt to the changes that are coming in the future. Our industry partners include Caterpillar, Deer Hitachi, Siemens, and Grass America. We have trained both incumbent workers and also we've helped fulfill their needs in new employees. I am currently employed at Emerald Tool and Mold. It's a plastic injection mold manufacturer out in Kernersville, North Carolina. I felt like I was prepared after coming through the program here at Forsyth Tech to enter in without too much transitional problem uh, to fit right into the company and doing the work that I'm doing now. I work for John Deere. I've been there for almost 25 years. I started as a uh, welder and I've worked up into an engineering position now. I came to Forsyth Tech with the purpose to further my education and move up into the engineering department at John Deere and further my career there. I use uh, almost everything that I learned in the Forsyth program on a daily basis, everything I do. I work at TE Connectivity. I'm a designer. My skills are better because of Forsyth Tech. For me personally, this has been part of a dream to no longer work in the shop floor. It's just a big change and, and I enjoy it every day.